Hello everybody! Welcome to Sew Aldo. On today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to finish a V neckline with a neckband. So if you are intimidated by it, don't be because it is super easy. If you follow my steps, you are going to get it the first time because this is the first time I did it and it worked really well. I can do it, you can too. I didn't film the whole entire process of this dress tutorial just because um, the patterns that I use are the same patterns that I use for the yellow dress that I made. I'm going to post a picture right here. It's pretty much everything was the same, um, but the only difference is obviously the neckline. By the way, if you are new here, welcome. My name is Aldo and I make sewing, DIY, and style video. If you like those type of videos, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I post new tutorial every Thursday at 9 o'clock in the morning, Central Time. Don't forget to hit the notification so you will get notified whenever I post a new one. With that being said, let's go ahead and get started! The first thing I will do is fold the fabric like this so I can cut out the front bodice. If you don't have your own front and back bodices patterns yet, I have the links in the description box below so you can go ahead and watch those videos so you can make your own. As you can see, the neckline on this one is actually round, but I'm just going to simply fold it like this, so it will be a v-neck. So the v-neck looks a little deep, but that's okay because I am going to add a 1 inch wide neckband, and it should raise up the neckline. By the way, this is the same patterns that I used for the yellow dress that I mentioned earlier. So if you want to watch that video for the full tutorial of this dress, I'm going to have the link at the end screen or in the description box below. That is the reason why I did not show you the full tutorial of this dress so I can focus more on the neckline. So after I cut out all the pieces for this dress, I have three pieces for the front bodice and then one piece for the back, two sleeves, two skirt panels, and the long strip of fabric or bias tape that I will be using for the neckline. The next thing I will do is I am going to match or join the panels on the front bodice. So I'm just going to match the seams or the darts. I am going to use my serger for this project but you can use your regular sewing machine. You can use a stretch stitch. Now it should look like this and I'm going to join the shoulder seams so I'm going to match the fabrics right side together and then serge it. Right after that, I am going to join the sleeves, so I just kind of pin it on the arm side and I'm going to serge it as well. Now it's time to work on the neckline, so I'm going to measure the neckline all the way around. 
this is the formula for the length of the neckband that you will need so basically just measure around the neckline and multiply it by 0.80 now it's time to make the bias tape so this fabric right here is on the bias and then i'm just going to cut out a long strip of fabric that is the measurement of the neckband that i need and it's going to be two inches wide now I am going to dovetail the bias tape. I folded the front bodice neckline like this so I can get the point of the V. Then I fold the bias tape right sides together and I'm going to match the points like this. Place the fold of the neckband against the points of the V. I hope that makes sense to you guys. Then I'm going to match the end so I can transfer the dovetail on the other side or other end of the neckband and I'm just going to trace it so I can easily see it. I am going to sew it just below the line that I drew so about an eighth of an inch. It's better if you are going to start sewing at the center, going down to the edge, so your sewing machine will not eat up your fabric. And next, I am going to trim off the excess fabric, as you can see here. So it's about an eighth of an inch away from the seam. And I also did a basting stitch right along the V. It's probably about two inches right along that edge. And I'm going to notch it right at the center. After I press the neckband, it should look like this. And now it's time to attach it on the neckline. First, I am going to find the quarter points of the neckline. So I use the center of the front and back bodices and notch it and then I kind of straighten up the neckline a little bit and I'm going to fold it as you can see here the shoulder seams are not always the center of the neckline that's why I had to do it this way and then I'm just basically going to fold it and I'm going to mark the quarter points using some pins I did the exact same steps on the neckband and now it's so much easier to match the neckline and the neckband together because I already marked it really good using pins. Now I am going to match the V of the neckline and the V of the neckband. So I want to make sure that they are aligned perfectly and I'm going to pin it to secure. And then right after that, I am just going to match the pins. I was really nervous to mess up the V of the neckline so what I did was I actually did a basting stitch right along the edge of that V just as you can see here. That will give me a chance to see if the V is perfect, doesn't have any wrinkle or puckering. So yeah, if you mess it up, you can always just remove the basting stitch and redo it. It will save you some trouble if you do a basting stitch first. And then I'm going to serge the neckband and the neckline. I am going to stretch the neckband as I sew just because the neckline of the fabric is bigger than the neckband. So you want to stretch out the neckband. You don't want to sew over wrinkle or the neckline will look terrible. Make sure you smooth that out. Also, if you are wondering, I started sewing at the V. If you don't have a serger, you can totally do this on your regular sewing machine. You can use a zigzag stitch or a stretch stitch. After this, I attach the 
skirt on the waistline and then close the side seams and finish the hemlines and the dress is done. I think the neckline is just right. It's not too deep and it's not too high. I think it's just the right um, V shape for me, which I really love. That's it for today and I hope you are inspired. I hope you learned something today. Uh, yeah, that v-neck is actually pretty easy to do. As long as you follow my direction, it will be so much easier and you don't have to be intimidated by it. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up so I will know to make more uh, videos like this one. Remember to subscribe to my channel. I post new video every Thursday at 9 o'clock in the morning central time. And of course, don't forget to hit the notification so you will get notified whenever I post a new one. If you are looking for more sewing inspiration for beginners, I have over 100 sewing tutorials that are available in my channel. I'm going to have the playlist right here so you can go ahead and check them out. I will see you next week. Bye!